The Wish Tree by Kyle McClear Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, There's no such thing. His sister said, There's no such thing. But Charles said, What do you think, Bugan? And Bugan thought, Surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and Bugan set forth. His brother said, Bring a map. His sister said, Don't forget a compass. But Charles and Bugan were already well on their way into the woods. La di da di da di da, sang Charles. Shh, whoosh, sang Bogan. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. Up, up to the top of the hill they climbed. And down, down to a frosty meadow they slid. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. Charles and Bogan did not see the wish tree. But they did see Squirrel, who was puzzling over how to get some hazelnuts to his home. La-dee-da-dee-da-dee-da, la-dee-da, sang Charles. Whoosh. Whoosh, sang Bogan. Hang on tight. So long, squirrel. Slow, slow, through the snow they went. And hush, hush, past bears then they crept. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. They did not see a wish tree anywhere. But they did see... Beaver, who was busy gathering birch wood to bring to his lodge. Let's go. La di da di da di da di da. Sang Charles. Whish, sang Bogan. Bye bye, Beaver. Slide, glide across the ice they slipped, past a few logs and around a bend. Where Charles went, Bogan followed. Where Bogan went, Charles followed. The wish tree was nowhere to be found, but they did find Fox, who was late getting berries to her burrow. Load him up. La di da di da di da di da da da. Sang Charles. Whoosh, whoosh. Sang Bogan. Keep warm, Fox. Now, they had less than half the day ahead of them. Less than half the day to find a wish tree. We, we may need to move a little faster, Bogan, said Charles. Charles and Bogan were moving very slowly now. Their shadows were growing longer. The whole day was almost behind them. Bogan, Charles said, I'm tired. And I cannot search any longer. Shh, whispered Bogan. When Charles awoke, it was snowing. It was snowing on Squirrel, and it was snowing on Beaver, and it was snowing on Fox, and it was snowing on everyone. For a moment, Charles could not see through the falling snow. But then he said, Ooh, look! See, Bogan, said Charles, just as we thought. And Bogan said, Whish, whish. Charles wrote his wish on a piece of paper and tied it around a branch of the wish tree. The snow was falling more gently now. The animals had prepared a night feast with hazelnut souffle, a pot of birch tea, and biscuits made of berries. Charles and Bogan celebrated with their friends until it was time to be on their way. The moon was glowing brightly. la di da di da 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 di da sang Charles. Whish, whish, sang Bogan all the way home.